Hey there friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new Batman game that was just real quick before we get started though I've got three things I need to mention really quickly. First off uh, like and subscribe. Also you may have noticed that the I uh, sound a bit different in this video. I am sick currently and I also have changed some of my mic settings to try and improve the audio quality for the channel. Also if you're wondering why uh, the stream got delayed I had some internet issues yesterday and then today I may have fallen asleep instead of streaming, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, we'll be streaming tomorrow. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, there was a trailer released alongside this as well as a couple pictures, and we can glean a lot of stuff from this. First off, this is a VR game, and it is going to be exclusive to the MetaQuest 3. It's kind of a sequel to two separate games, and I'm gonna get to that in a minute. In the trailer, you see a bunch of rats and stuff, so it's pretty clear that the main villain for the game is most likely meant to be the rat catcher. It's also possible, though, that this will be just a side villain or whatever. Now, we, I want to talk about when this game could potentially take place. Because if you don't know, not only did rat catcher maybe die at some time during Arkham City, uh, he also possibly survived Arkham City. So there's two likely places that this could take place either before Arkham Asylum or before Arkham Knight. The reason I say before Arkham Knight is it really couldn't take place after Arkham Knight. And I don't think it's I don't think it's between Arkham Asylum and Arkham City based off of the Batman suit. Most likely this is going to take place between Arkham Origins and Arkham Asylum based off of the Batman design as well as a few other details I'm gonna get to. Now if you look at the Batman design it's very clearly meant to be a younger Batman, and it looks very, very similar to the Batman face that we had in Arkham Origins. Speaking of, who is going to be voicing Batman in this game? It's possible that Kevin Conroy did record lines for this game prior to his passing, like he did for the Suicide Squad DLC, as well as the Crisis on Infinite Earths film, Part 3. But I see the much more likely case is that it is going to be the same voice actor as in Arkham Origins being Roger Craig Smith, uh, just based off of the fact that this is clearly much younger Batman and most likely set at that time, it would just make more sense. Now, the reason I say that it is set at this time, once again, I mentioned before the outfit and stuff, but in the trailer, you can also see some vote dent signs, which seem to be brand new. Um, what I mean by that is the fact that like they're not old and crepit or anything. I think that this is set around the time when uh, Harvey hadn't become Two-Face yet, but was trying to run for mayor. Now, overall, I think that this is really interesting. This is not being developed by anyone who has worked on the previous Arkham games, as far as we know. Um, it's not developed by Rocksteady, and it's not developed by WB Montreal. It's developed by a completely different studio focusing on VR stuff. It's not technically a follow-up to the Arkham VR game, but, but it's kind of a spiritual successor, I could see, just because of the fact that, you know, it is, once again, another Batman Arkham VR game. Now, oh, I think that the idea of having the Rat Catcher as the villain is actually a crazy idea. And I don't know if I'm going to play this because I don't have a quest. Um, I might get one for this game specifically, but... I can just imagine how terrifying it's going to be for a lot of people when there's most likely going to be rats crawling all over you in virtual reality, which is going to be crazy. That's really all we know about the game currently. But we do know the game is going to be released later this year, 2024, and that we will be getting more news about this at Summer Games Fest on June 7. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys all next time and goodbye.